Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make a light rail transit system. Um, I was making one last night, but then my computer bugged out. Or not my computer, my camera, so um, <clears throat> I'm going to do this a little bit differently. Start over again. I have the skeleton of one already set up. Let's adjust this a bit. There we go. Um, we'll just move on from that. You can kind of take a look at it. But yeah, we'll move on. So we're going to have a four-stop transit system. So we start with starting block, button wall. You want to make it three tall. Yep. All right. Now as I build the next one, I'll explain to you why I'm building it in such a manner. We need a good starting point. Alrighty. So our starting point. We're going to start with two um, redstone rail or um, power rail. You have a button. This is to get things started. And every station will have a button, but you won't need it once things are going. We have a cart. You need one normal rail. And then we're going to have a detector rail. And continue on. And two, three just have two actually. Six, seven, another detector rail. Um, let's see how long a detector rail lasts for. I actually haven't done this because usually I do this with redstone, so we'll just see how far it will get me. Okay, it stops about there. And just to be safe, we'll cut it one more. So that gives me up one, two, one, two, three. Okay, I might not need that. We'll see if it connects. Yep, awesome. This is our first station. So you want the detector rail. That's rather important. So let's see if this lights up. I'm doing things a little bit different than I normally do. Awesome. Got stuck though. So we're going to use some redstone torches. Perfect. Alright, this is the next station. <clears throat> you run for two blocks on on a normal rail. And then you want to have a station for the cart to fall into. Make sure you leave that blank. You don't want them falling too far. But they need to have a spot to fall through. Land on the next piece of rail. Next piece of rail. Now this is what makes the cart go, bef the cart in front of you, go before you get there. So when this is all working, you will have four carts running on the rail simultaneously, and there'll be a few seconds between each one. <clears throat> Um, with a longer rail, you probably could fit more than probably two carts per station sort of thing, or more, depending on how long it is, and you want to have a few seconds between to get in the cart and get out. So let's do this again. We need one more detector rail. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, detector. Oh, one. So this is the ramp. It goes up. You want to make it too long again. Spot at the end. And this is like a guardrail so that the cart doesn't go flying off. Ah, what did I just delete? Nothing. Okay, weird. Redstone running from the detector rail to where the next cart will take off. And you also want to line where the next cart is going to sit so it has a nice stable starting point. Pardon me. <clears throat> cart. I have another one here for a button. Oh, did I put a button on the last one? 
or didn't. <clears throat> I'm gonna set the time. Oops. Alrighty. Time for our next station. I have one more station to build after this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Detector rail. another carton. Now this is a very, very simple version. Now I'm going to actually have to have some slightly different because this didn't run perfectly square like I thought it would because I obviously made it longer on one side than I did on this side. Alright, another turn, and this, and then that, and then... And we'll lay in <clears throat> the last of the redstone and let's see This works. Oh. Alrighty. Lay another card in. We're gonna start it. See the other cart leaves. Other card leaves. And we're actually gonna oh, we need a little more power here. You know, adjust things, make sure they work. We're going to put another cart in every station. So we're going to actually send out two. So this is constantly running. <coughs> Go. Put another cart there. Alright, so there it goes. I can also set up a sound system. I'll do another video about that. There you go. Constantly running on RT system. And one cart will do a full round, and you have quite a few seconds to wait between when the next one comes. If we add another cart on oh, what happened here. There we go. Now we have a few more carts running. So we have six carts instead of four. And then you don't have as long of a wait in all the stations. So there you go. There is a constant LRT system. Uh, of course there are glitches, like such as if for whatever reason a cart stops, something gets in its way, you drop something on the tracks, or carts merge. But um, usually with this pre, you preset it with the detect there and it sets the cart going, you're not going to have that problem. I'm going to make another video with um, an LRT warning system.